What's up, broski? Quick video. I want to talk about this leaked GameStop conference call uh, that was put on YouTube a couple days ago. Uh, Goldie Rogers sent it to me, a longtime subscriber of mine. Um, yeah, I was curious about it. And it's a 40-minute video, broski. You know, there's someone that commentates about it, this YouTuber called Camelot. Normally, broski, I'm not into videos that long, but I found the video so fascinating because since Shitstop is, is one of those companies that you love to hate, I actually sat, sat there and listened to the whole thing. And like I said, it was pretty interesting because they got to show me, uh, <laughs> it pretty much confirmed my suspicions uh, about GameStop, that it's, it's, ran, it's run by a bunch of fucking executive morons, bro. A bunch of dipshit morons. Just a bunch of douchebags, bro. Idiots. That, that, that are speaking out of their ass. Bro, you can when you listen to the voices in, in these executives, bro, you can hear just the death in their voice, bro. Like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You can hear how defeated and diminished they are, broski. You can just hear how how they just sound like, fuck, man, what am I doing with my life? I'm a GameStop executive. Bro, just think about it. In this day and era, being having a career as a GameStop executive pretty much sounds like a fucking circus act. It sounds like a joke. You may as well call yourself a fucking clown for a fucking carnival, broski, because that's what GameStop is run by, fucking clowns. GameStop, they don't know what the fuck to do ever since this coronavirus uh, pandemic started. All right, these guys are running around with their fucking, uh, like chickens with their heads cut off, broski, you know? It's bad enough that they were that they were doing horrible with their sales uh, the past couple years, you know? Bad enough that they, that, that they closed down a lot of stores. But now with this coronavirus, broski, and them being closed to, uh, Excuse me, them being forced to close down uh, more stores and only do drive through takeout orders. Bro, this is going to make them, bro, this is going to make them fall flat on their fucking ass with diarrhea shit splurting out their fucking asshole and that diarrhea shit all over their ass cheeks and then splurted, excuse me, splattered beyond the fucking ass cheeks and against the fucking walls, all four corners of the fucking walls, bro. That's shit stop for you, literally. There you go. <laughs> shit stop. Bro, the GameStop, what they need to do, bro, and I think it would actually grab them more attention. You know, it would actually bring in more sales. What they need to do is just put that poop emoji on top of the the, the word game uh, on their fucking uh, store sign right there. A poop emoji and GameStop. Because that's what they've been reduced to, broski. That's what GameStop is doing now, by the way. You go on the GameStop app, and you order a game, and uh, depending on uh, <laughs> the distance of, of the, the GameStop from your house, which, whichever one is closer or whatever, broski, you know, you order the game, and then you'll go, you go and you'll get an email, and it'll, and it'll tell you what time your game is ready to be picked up. So they've right now been reduced to a fucking drive through service. I'm sorry, I'm all over the place here, broski, but you know what I mean. Anyways, yeah, these guys sound like they're panicking. They don't know what to do. <sighs> There's this one skank. She's an executive. She's a high-ranking executive in the company. Bro, she sounds like a fucking bimbo when you listen to the clip, broski. A straight-up bimbo. Bro, she's the kind of bimbo that sounds like... She wouldn't even know what to do if you put a fucking eight inch hard cock in her fucking face. I don't think she she would even know how to properly service a cock. I think the only reason she got to that position of a big time GameStop executive is, is because she probably put her lips on a couple of, of cocks or two up in the offices. And she probably didn't even give him a good blowjob. Just a couple of simps. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
yeah, just put you 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 those lips on my on my uh, on my cock, and just all I want is a little taste. Just twirl your tongue around the, the balls just one time, and I promise I'll promote you. Ooh yeah, oh yeah, GameStop executive skank Sally. Ooh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, I'm gonna promote you. You don't you don't need to suck the whole cock. <laughs> You're a hot piece of ass enough as it is, a bimbo, but a pretty hot piece of ass. Ooh yeah. Just, just, just lips in the cock, a little twirly thing around the balls just one time, and hopefully I'll come, please, oh, please, yeah, do it for me, oh, 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 oh yeah, oh, bro, fucking ting, tongue around the fucking balls, bro. That's what she had to have gotten her job, bro. She did not properly suck a cock, put her lips on it for, for like a, a couple seconds, and that was enough to make whoever was running the place at the time fucking rock hard. Seriously, bro, I don't know how a skank like that got a fucking job like that. Bro, those people, they sound lost. Um, I could do a hell of a lot better job at running the fucking GameStop. I can understand them trying to put profit over people, broski, because um, that's the business world. You know, people don't seem to understand that that's how the business world works. Profit over people. It doesn't matter. The money has to come in because guess what, broski? Everybody has to get paid, even the employees. All right, so I can, you know, I'm trying to see it from different angles, broski. But it is what it is. Um, it, bro, it doesn't surprise me that these are these are the kind of clowns running that circus act. I know they did that Animal Crossing launch, and a lot of people, bro, uh, they, they waited in line for that game. And rightfully so, broski, you know? It's a good fucking game. Um... Another thing about shit stop is, uh, I think during the conference call meeting, one of the staff members from a smaller store asked, hey, you know, what about uh, some of the employees that are going to be out of a job because of this coronavirus? Are you guys going to pay them or what? And they really had no answer for it. And I can tell you why they don't have no answer for it, broski, because GameStop isn't making much profit. You know what I mean? I know Starbucks, shout out to Starbucks, broski, uh, that. They're going to be paying uh, their employees that are out of work, I think, 30 days worth of uh, money. Which is, hey, it's better than nothing, you know? So shout out to Starbucks for that, broski. But shit stop, bro, forget it. Guys, listen, GameStop, it's not a wise career choice. GameStop, shit stop, excuse me. Um, you're, you're, you're replaceable, broski. Simple as that. It's a revolving door. All they need is a fresh young face or a fucking hot bimbo like that fucking executive to work her way up. Suck a couple of fucking GameStop executive cocks. Put her lips around the balls. Whatever the fuck you want to, uh, uh, whatever the fuck you, you you motherfuckers want her to do to get that position in, in, in GameStop. That's all you gotta do. You wanna make it in GameStop, broski? Be a hot piece of ass. And then maybe you, you'll uh, come up as the next top GameStop CEO. And I don't know. You won't uh, have to do shit. I don't know how else to uh, explain that. So, yeah. Let me know what you think of that, bro. Um, it, It's bad, bro. Right now with shit stop, you know. I know they're losing a lot of profit. You know, um, back then GameStop you used to pay itself. You know, the place sold itself. You didn't have to fucking go in there and, and, and get hounded to buy insurance. The, the most they would hound you with was the fucking edge card, right? Or the fucking GameStop magazine subscription. All right? Just a simple no, okay. You know, I remember back then GameStop was bustling with business, broski, you know? But now it's just like, I don't know. They need to just... They need to just change it all the way from inside out, bro. Any, anyway, guys, let me know what you think. That's all I got to say about shit stop, you know? And as for WrestleMania, oh, yeah, real quick. You guys know WrestleMania, man. I feel like it's been reduced to a boring show. You know, it's not going to be no audience. Roman Reigns just got pulled out because he didn't want to compromise his immune system. So he decided, he asked the WWE executives that, you know, hey, can you give me the time off? Because I'm already weak enough from the uh, leukemia. I don't want to catch the coronavirus. 
which is fine. I understand his point of view, bro, but I really wanted to see Roman Reigns versus Goldberg, bro. Now, what, what is this WrestleMania going to be? Look, look what it's been reduced to. There's a couple of boring jobber matches on the card, on the card that they added, and um, I don't know. It's no, I feel like the audience makes WrestleMania, you know, the energy, the chants, the boos, and the fucking cheers. I'm still going to check out WrestleMania, broski, but it's just going to be, it's, it's going to feel sad to watch something like that, you know? All these great matches, and it's just, we'll see, bro. I don't know. Peace out. Let me know what you think.